What is going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to pull certain cryptocurrency prices from Google Finance. There's actually a way to do it. A couple people have asked on some of my videos and they still seem a little lost how to do it. I did have a video of how to pull it from Yahoo Finance, but it's not the best way. I now know how to do it through Google Finance, which is a much more reliable uh, forms of pulling data. And the reason being is because Yahoo could change its code and then the function will break. Google Finance, its code won't break. Google Finance or Google Sheets will continue to maintain and update that. So this is the more superior way of pulling actual uh, crypto prices. So how does it work? How do we do it? Well, let's zoom out really quick. And let's, uh, you know, we'll jump over here. So you're thinking, well, if it's the Google Finance, well, what do we do? We type in Google Finance, right? And we do the drop down. Oh, we need to put in ticker. Okay, well, that seems easy. Then Bitcoin's ticker is BTC, right? Hit enter, loading, 94 cents. Something's wrong here. Bitcoin's not worth 94 cents. What's going on? Well, that's because BTC is a stock on the either New York Stock Exchange or NASDAQ. That's what's happening here. If we hit comma and then do name to figure out exactly what it is, hit enter, Blue Sky Digital Asset Corp. That's the stock's price that we just pulled for 94 cents. Clearly not Bitcoin, clearly not what we're looking for. So how do we make it work? Well, we need to let Google Finance know that we're not looking for a stock, we're looking for a currency. I don't know if you guys know how to do this, but there is a way to pull currency like this. So say we wanna see the USD compared to the Euro. If we hit enter, look at that. One USD equals 0.845701 euros. We could flip the two if we want. Maybe we wanna compare the Euro to the US dollar, hit enter. And then it flips. It's 1.18245. So Bitcoin is a currency. You probably already know where this is going. Take the euro and do BTC. Look at that. BTC USD. There it is. 55,970. Let's go with this cell. There it is. If we drop down to Ethereum, ETH USD. And if we go to Bitcoin Cash, BCH USD. Now the cool part is we could also flip it. If we do USD BTC, it'll load. The reason why it says zero is let's, uh, we gotta go back, there we go. So $1 is worth 0 0.00001786555 Bitcoins. So you could flip them if you want as well. We could flip this, ETH, hit enter, loading. Let's go back in the decimals, there it is. And even cooler guys, maybe you are not in the United States. Well, don't worry, it also works for euros. So let's get rid of the decimals. Look at that, so one Bitcoin is worth 47,000 euros. Uh, let's see, what is one ETH? EUR, hit enter, loading, there we go. 1,444 ETH for euros. And again, we could keep changing this. We could go to, um, I think INR or IRN. Yeah, INR, that's uh, Indian currency. So this is how you can pull what uh, Bitcoin's current price is depending on what country you're in and we could even take a step further with this, guys. When you start to build out certain charts or certain uh, portfolio trackers, now you can track both Bitcoin and stocks uh, in the same cells or the same function, and this is what I mean. Let's say you have Apple. Well, here, ready? Let's change crypto to, uh, we'll name it, yeah, we'll, we'll name it positions, all right? Positions and then price, okay? So instead of BTC, we're gonna get rid of this. Instead, let's pretend you have Apple, you have BTC USD, uh, you have, how about uh, Microsoft? We'll, we'll just stick with those three for now. So if you do equals Google Finance, 
click on that, click on that, close that up, loading. And then if we drop this down, look at that. So now you could throw Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Bitcoin Cash into your portfolio trackers and it can track that way. Well, you just need to make sure you have the right currency like that. Um, it does suck that you can't put in, say, LTC is Litecoin. It doesn't load. You see, it doesn't return any data. It doesn't have it in it, uh, which sucks for now. Maybe they'll add them, but it is nice to know that we can now pull Bitcoin. We could pull Ethereum and we could pull Bitcoin Cash. Uh, BSV is another... No, nope, BSV doesn't work either. So yeah, it's just those three for now. But I just want to make this video so you guys know how to use that. Uh, it is pretty helpful, in my opinion, if you want to add certain cryptos to your portfolio, which I've been doing. I will come out with a bigger portfolio tracker that keeps track of your cryptos and your stocks as well. But guys, if you like this video, smash that like button. Check out my Patreon and you'll have access to all of my portfolio trackers that I have made. Uh, and subscribe if you haven't already. And guys, I will see you in the next one.